Hey everybody, brother Jim here. Um, right now I'm out at uh, the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade here in St. Louis. Uh, it's a pretty cold day. You may be able to see some snowflakes falling there. Uh, hopefully, though, that won't deter people from coming out. Um, hopefully, there'll be a lot of people out here to preach to uh, and uh, sow some seed and water. So. Uh, here we go. Uh, probably hand out some gospel tracks too. Uh, and this actually goes a few blocks, so... find a good place to uh, maybe stand and preach too. I got the camera affixed to a sandwich board also. You guys like one? You like a gospel track? You like one? It's a gospel track. Tells you how to be saved by Jesus Christ. Take it. It's free. I want more, and I'm good. Take one. How's it going? Good, how are you? So this is a, this is a big uh, Catholic city. There's a lot of Catholics here, especially on St. Patrick's Day. My toes are frozen. Hey, John, what's our song? I was a born sinner. Uh, you don't have to stay one, though. Yeah, that's fine. It's on the way to live. Right here. Right there. Save his ass. Right now. Take him with you, as a matter of fact. Thank you very Take much. Him with you. God bless you. Anybody else? Like a gospel track? Tells you how to be saved by Christ? Hey, Warren. Is that a direct link from Jesus that pitched that camera? Is it a what? Hey, Jesus. All right. Hi. Hi. You like one? Do you like one? Yeah, why not? God bless you. Thank Here you go, ma'am. One for you too. God bless. Good brother Dane. Take it. Rock on, sir. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. Oh, doing the yeah, same thing. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. God bless you guys. Yeah, bless you. God bless. God bless. There you go. Yeah. 
you guys like one? It's a gospel track. God bless you. Do you like one? Do you like one? The Bible says to repent and be baptized. Turn from your sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you to set you free from sin. Jesus Christ defeated sin on the cross. Jesus Christ defeated the devil on the cross. And he offers everyone the grace of salvation for you to be saved from sin and from hell. You don't have to stay a sinner. You can be set free. You can be a saint like St. Patrick. You can become a saint, a true saint living in holiness matter of fact that's what the name saint means it means holy it's the word hagios which means holy saint peter said be holy as i am holy says the lord Jesus Christ came to set you free. The Bible says that God sent His Son to bless you in turning every one of you away from your iniquities. Have you turned away from iniquity today? Are you living holy? If not, do it today. Turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Turn from sin today. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He can set you free. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you to turn you away from sin and to live for Him. The Bible says that He died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for Him who died and rose again. Are you living for Jesus Christ or are you living for yourself? I'm not here to preach the Bible, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you to set you free, that you might be redeemed from every lawless deed and purified for Jesus. You know, don't you want to be a called out person, a special person for Jesus Christ, a saint of God? You can be transformed through the, through the gospel. The Bible says that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation, unto all who believe. You know, the gospel can change your life. The gospel can transform you from a sinner into a saint. You don't have to live in sin anymore. You could be born again. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter in. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Have you died to your old way of life? Have you given up your sin? Have you forsaken your sin and be born again? 
You know, you can be born again, transformed. Some people get so excited about, you know, parades and marching bands, they don't care about their own soul. The Bible says, what would it profit a man if he gains the whole world, but in the end loses his own soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? People are exchanging their souls for parades. People are exchanging their souls for entertainment and drunkenness. You know, what are you living for today? Are you living for Jesus Christ? Or are you living for drunkenness and idolatry? Jesus Christ gave His life for you, shed His blood for you, that He might redeem you that he might ransom you away from the devil. You know, sinners are in a snare. They've been taken by the devil to do his will. You know, when you're serving sin, you're serving the devil. You're in a snare. The Bible says that you've dug your own pit and have fallen into it. You dug your own pit. You know, this thing I know the man was born uprightly, but he has sought out many schemes. God created men upright. He created babies upright. But people have sought out wickedness and every vile thing. Oh, don't be led to destruction. Don't be led to the pit. Don't be led into hell. The Bible says the destruction of transgressors and sinners shall be together. And those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Don't forsake the Lord. No, turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Be born again. This world is nothing. This world is nothing. This world is passing away. But the word of the Lord abides forever. Oh, uh, only Jesus Christ is going to abide forever. You know, do you have the Son of God living in you? Do you have Jesus Christ in you? The hope of glory. See, if you don't have Jesus in you, you got no hope. Hope. That's why I'm out here to preach to you hope. Do you have hope? Have you repented of your sin? Have you given up your sin? Have you turned from all your sin? And are you following the Lord Jesus Christ? He shed His blood for you that you might be saved from the power of sin. Have you been saved from the power of sin? You can repent of your sin. Follow Jesus Christ. Do it today. Repent today. Turn to Jesus with all your heart. Be born again. Turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you. Jesus is important. Parades are not important. The Son of God is important. You need to turn from your sin, repent of your sin, and follow Him. He shed His blood for you, died on the cross, that He might redeem you from the power of sin. Turn from sin today. Give up your sin today and follow Him. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Yep. Keep following him. Oh yes, sir. And make sure you repented. Oh yes, I'm a Christian. Amen. Amen. Keep it up then. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Follow Him. Give up your sin. Repent of your sin. Hey, is Jesus Irish? <laughs> no. Jesus is Jewish. Tribe of Benjamin. But isn't isn't the Irish on St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. Everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Well, the reason why I'm out here is because so people will turn from being a sinner to become a saint. Well, like a sinner. Like Patrick. Here, not being here is a sinner. What's that? Not being, being here is not, you're not saying a sinner, are you? Well, I mean, if you're out here getting drunk, 
you know. Jesus drank wine all the time. Yeah, but the Bible says that drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Right? But Jesus drank wine every day. No, oh, where does it say that? But he does in mass. Of course he drinks wine. Drink having, wine a, having a sip of wine is not wrong, right? Getting drunk is a sin. Well, that not, now you're judging. Well, I, 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 I have a sip of wine every Sunday morning. And that's what I'm saying. Having a sip of wine is not sin. Getting drunk is sin. I don't believe you. I don't. I don't agree with you. Now. Then you don't agree with the Bible. Yeah, I do. First Corinthians chapter six. Saint, tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day at Holy Infant. I'll be getting drunk with the priests up there. Oh yeah, that's drunkards won't inherit the kingdom. They already own the kingdom. No, Jesus said that He's going to say to you, "Depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity." You know. I don't want you to be cast into the lake of fire. You got to repent. You know what repentance is? You, you, got, you got to grab some of these, these non Catholics and pull them in. Pull them in. No. I'm, I'm already a member. Right. Well, We're already, a, you know, I'm already theory. a believer, brother. If you're getting drunk, it. you're not a member of the kingdom of God. I can drink. You can drink, but don't get drunk. Okay. Stop. Say, now you're judging. Me. Is judging wrong? Yeah. Is it? Where's that say? Where's it say you're, that? You're, you're, crazy you're, you're on saying the side and I've waited if I, too long if I cross. drink to you drunk, know, last wrong. Year, but drinking's okay. Years, my husband and I have taken the method. Right. Judging. What's wrong with judging? What's your opinion? Up, but we're early enough. Why is it my opinion? That's what the Bible says. It's no, your opinion. If, if I drink to drunk, it's your opinion. It's God's opinion. But if I, if I, I sat on the altar and, and drank all that wine instead of sharing it with everybody else on a Sunday, it's different. Well, the reason why the Bible... I'm, I'm, I'm not busting you around. I hear you. I, I'm a Catholic, so you, you, I used to, I'm already in the camp. I used to be, but I'm here to tell you you're not in the camp. Yeah, I am. Right? Well, I used to think the no, same thing. The conversation's going to end if you say that. Why? Because I'm already there, bro. Okay, well, listen. Here, you got a lot more people to pull in. Look, see this right here? 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Yeah. Will you go look this up? I won't. Oh, there I won't. He is. <laughs> no, I won't. Not, not, now you turn the conversation. We have a conversation. Now you put it down. All right, we're here oh. to have fun and Move God bless on. Move on. Thank oh, you. Yeah, turn right. from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus. Oh, I'll run the lunch in on the way back. Give up your sin. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Give up your sin and follow Jesus. He can set you free. Turn from sin and follow Jesus Christ. Don't follow the ways of the world. Come out of the world. You know, the things in the world are perishing. All that's in the world is passing away. Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Turn from your sin. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. I'm out here to preach the gospel, preach the Bible. Jesus said, unless you repent, you'll perish. I don't want people to perish. I want people to have eternal life. You know, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to Him with all your heart. Repent of your sin and be born again. Be born again. Turn from all sin. Turn from drunkenness. Turn from adultery. Turn from fornication. You know, give up your sin. Follow Jesus Christ. He died for you to set you free. Don't you want to be set free? You can be set free from sin. You can be set free from hell. You know, the Bible says He's able to save to the uttermost those who come to Him by faith. Turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be a sinner. Be a winner. Follow Jesus Christ. Give up your sin. Turn from your sin and follow Him.
Jesus Christ died on the cross to set you free. Have you been set free? Have you repented of all your sin? Have you turned from all your sin? You know, there's going to be judgment, judgment to come for those who go on, who go on in sin. Don't continue on in sin today. Turn from your sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives mercy and grace to those who are humble. You know, why won't you humble yourself? The Bible says, whoever conceals his sin will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes it shall have mercy. I want you to have mercy. I want you to be an heir of, of God. You know, join heirs with Christ. Why won't you come to Him by faith? Turn from your sin and put your faith in the Lord Jesus. He can save you. He can change your life. Well, might as well be. Turn from sin today. Give up your sin today. Repent today. Follow Him. Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can change your life. If you are willing and obedient, the Bible says. You know, we got to follow Jesus Christ. Here, here you go. Take one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless. God bless you. All right. So, yeah, turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus. You know, Jesus Christ can change your life. There's power in the name of Jesus. You know, he said, I am. God bless. So yeah, the soldiers were looking for Jesus. And Jesus said, Who do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I am he. And they all fell backwards. You know, Jesus Christ is powerful. There's power in the name. Jesus can set you free. can change your life. You can die with Christ and be raised with Christ today. See, some people think it's all about going to church. Church is, you know, church doesn't set you free. Jesus sets you free. It's not about going to church. Matter of fact, most churches today don't even preach the truth as it is in Jesus. The truth as it is in Jesus that you be crucified with Him, that you give up your old lifestyle. You died your old way of life. And you're resurrected. Resurrected into a new life. Oh, don't you want to be resurrected into a new life? Turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus. Give up your sin and follow Him. You know, turn from sin. Give up your sin and follow Jesus Christ. He can set you free. He can save your soul. But you got to repent. See, most people, they miss the repentance step. They miss the whole repentance step, which is turning from your sin, changing your mind about living a sinful lifestyle. You know, that's what you got to do is you got to repent. Give up drunkenness. Give up pornography. Give up the old way of life. Be transformed. Be changed. Put off your old way. Put on the new way. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Do it today. Give up your sin today and follow Jesus. Repent today and follow Jesus. He can set you free. He can change your life.
you guys like one? Yeah. What church are you part of? I don't go to a church. What do you follow then? I follow the Bible, follow Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said you must be born again. And, uh, you know, I used to be a drug user and a drunk and a porn watcher and stuff uh -huh. like that. Good. And Jesus Christ set me free. And, you know, everyone can be set free. You have to die on the cross with Jesus. Your old life has to pass away on the cross with Jesus. And you can be resurrected with him. Born again, a new life. You know, sin doesn't have power over a dead man, does it? No. Nope. no so yeah, you can not. you can die with Christ, you know? So where does the money go? I mean, What's that? What do you mean? Where does the money go? Like, uh, if I s put a dollar down to sexual immortality, it goes to... You're trying to say, like, if you donate money to this, where does it go? Oh, I don't... I don't take money. I, I'm taking take money. No, I'm here to give something to you. You know. Okay. Oh, so really? we donate to the homeless. Yeah, I'm here to give you this. Uh, tell you the gospel. No, I don't. I'm. If anything, so, I give away money. So. So where do? What do we do? He's just to be saved. Us, like, you know, you, be better people. You, right? All right. In, in order. Christian. Well, I'm. I'm telling you to obey Jesus. That's the whole message, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the way that you get saved is not by going to church, not by being baptized as a baby, okay. you know, not asking Jesus to come into your heart, not praying a prayer with some guy on the street. You know, it's by repenting of your sins. That means changing your mind about doing it, changing your mind about living a sinful lifestyle, and then deciding to obey Jesus your whole entire life, right? To have faith in Him, faith in what He did, to, to make you new, right? Yeah. Because you're a new creature in Christ. You could die with Him and be resurrected with Him. So that's my whole message, you know. Get into the Bible. Find out what it says. Turn from all your sin and follow Him, you know. Jesus said, go and sin no more, you know. Turn water to wine. Like yeah, He said, if your, hand cut, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Right? You know, if that... If that drinking beer after beer, you know, that's sin. That's drunkenness is sin, yeah. right? And and Jesus said to cut your hand off, you know, because it's better for you to enter into heaven with one of your hands than both of your hands and go into hell. But I'd rather go to hell with two hands. Than... Whoa, come on. Whoa. Okay, let, to be honest, I mean, that's just me personally. I would rather go to hell with two hands than heaven with one hand. Like, why would you... If that's your to... choice. Well, the point is this. If... If we live in our bodies and our bodies are temporary yeah this is only a short time here 80 right. years you know yeah. 90 right. years at the most right right but then you have eternity right yeah i guess it does make sense so you know what what is it if you gain the whole world but in the end lose your eternity lose right. your own soul you know right. and that's what jesus said what would a man give in exchange for his soul you know so we're betting on our souls and this life here this isn't important you know, this is pretty bad as a matter of fact. This isn't, you know. Yeah, but how do we know that? Like, I I mean, I enjoy life now. I love my life. Mm. I like living happy. Mm. So I'd rather be here hammered as hell than God, be, like, be not. I mean, I don't know. That's just me personally. God yeah. is yeah. teaching you. I'd rather God. smoke weed and, like, be high. Than, this this I, life is a test, right? Yeah. Right? This whole life is a test. And you have to pass. There are those who's not going to pass. Well, you think and, you have to pass. And but, I mean, what, how do we know that? That's like, well, I mean, that's how I believe. I think, how do we know that? Like, what if we die and it's just nothing? Mm -hmm. Then it's nothing. But you have the you have nothing to you have a short time to lose. I guess is my point. Okay. You have this and, life yeah, I to do lose. Like that. I like that. A lot. But you have eternity to gain. You know. Yeah. And not only that, oh, but your conscience. I said that a long time. Ago. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Game. Your, in, man. your conscience. Catholic squad. Game. Your conscience is there, and it tells you when you've done right or when you've done wrong. You know it, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's God inside you, you know, telling you, hey, you shouldn't do this, you should do this, yeah. right? So that's one. Plus, look, a, look around, you know? If anything was a, a little bit out of whack, even a little bit, like the earth was turned this much, right. uh, we would perish. We would be burned up, right? God's holding every... The whole creation screams that there's a God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a solar eclipse, for example. The moon is a perfect size for the sun, which is behind it, and it's from the perfect distance for it to create a perfect eclipse. Those things don't just happen by accident, you know. So there is a God, and, you know, I uh, exhort you to turn from all sin and follow Him, you know. Don't follow churches or denominations or religions, Protestant, Catholic. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You've got to follow what you believe in. Yeah, exactly. 
I like that. Like I believe that as well. Yeah. So anyway, I you know encourage you guys to. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. I really do. Yep. You bet. You bet. You guys get one of these. I did. I gave you I did. one too. Yeah. Yeah. You too, man. Thank yep. You. Yep. God bless you guys.